Okay, so take a moment, see yourself sitting here, wherever that may be. We're going to reach down and grow roots down into the earth, down through whatever floors and basements you have, deep below your building, down into the soil beneath your houses. We're going to reach down and down pushing through soil around boulders until we reach the bedrock far below our, our houses. And when we reach there, we're going to search out and look for the pools of water, the deep, cool pools of, of, of water, waters of chaos, waters of creation far beneath the earth. And with each and every breath, we're going to start bringing these waters up, bring them up through our roots, bring them up into our feet. With each breath, we'll raise them up into our legs and into our loins. Next breath brings them up into our bellies, and into our chest. And as we breathe, we keep on bringing it up further, up into our head, up through our arms and hands. The next breath brings them up throughout our entire bodies and pour it back into the earth, filling us with these cool, crisp waters from far below, filling us with the energies that they bring with us. Enjoy these energies for a moment. Then we're going to reach up and grow our branches through our ceilings and grow our roofs up into the skies. Go them up through the clouds, up until we can find that one pole star directly above our heads. And with that star, we're going to pull in the lights and the fires from above. We pull these lights down into our branches, down again with each and every breath. We pull that light down into our bodies, into our heads, and into our hands. Bring that light down into our chest, mingle it with the waters in our loins. Each and every breath brings that light further down until it is throughout our complete body. Each breath pulling the waters from below and the lights from above, fire and water mixing within our bodies, filling us with the energy of potential. Enjoy this energy. Recognize it. Hold on to it. Take from it everything that you need. But for now, we're going to disconnect, send the waters back down into the earth, send the fires back up into the sky, drain our branches and our roots back into our bodies. But we know that if we ever need any more energy, if we need to find our center once more, all we ever need to do is reach down for that water, reach up for that fire, and bring that into our bodies. But for now, take a deep breath in and out, in and out. When you're ready, Open your eyes and join us. Prepare for magic. Our first offerings go to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you, you surround us, you support us. You aid us throughout our days. You give us weather to enjoy sometimes. Uh, you nourish us. You provide the food. Without you, we would not be able to live here. For all that you do for us, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods. We are here to honor the ancestors. We're here to honor the land spirits. And we're here to ask for their blessings in return. But first, 
Let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well, your waters reach deep into the earth and bring us to the worlds of the ancestors. Calling you to be our pathway to the underworld. We give you the silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow. Sacred waters flow within us. And mighty fire burn and transform. You take our offerings high into the sky, to the worlds of the shining ones. We ask that you help us in opening us away to the heavens. We offer you this incense. We say sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. Mighty tree, your roots run deep into the wells and the waters far below. Your branches run high to the heavens far above. You are a path between the worlds. He sends you with the waters of the wells and the fires. And we say, sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. And in my house and in all of our houses, by the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, the water the light of the fire, the of the fire our, our groves are made whole, are made whole and holy. And now we call to all the gatekeepers, to all of you who have aided us in the past, we call to you to aid us once more. We call to you to, to come and watch over as we do our works, guard us as we walk the holy ways. We call to ask you to take our messages far and wide to bring back to us all that we need to hear. Gatekeepers all, Accept our offerings. Gatekeepers all. Accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic with mine in my house and all of our houses. Let the wells open as a gate to the underworld. The fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds open to our spirits and open to our voices in all of our houses let the gates be opened let the gates be let the gates be opened and first we're going to make offerings to the shining ones the gods and goddesses of elder days you watch over each and every one of us you who we call matrons and patrons, we offer you welcome. To those of you of this very earth that are here before we moved in, to each and every one of you, we offer you welcome. To all of the unknown gods and goddesses, you, any, any of you that watch over us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. And we call to the land spirits. All you of fur and feather, scale and skin, the animal kin, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of leaf and twig and stem and flower, the plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all of you who are unseen, be you the Celtic Fae, the Germanic Elves and Dwarfs, the Mediterranean Dryads and Naiads, and all the various names that you go by, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fire. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. 
and to the ancestors, to each and every one of you of our own bloodline, our family, we offer you welcome. To all of those of our chosen families, our friends, our mentors, and those who have inspired us. And to all of those of this very earth that are buried where we live, ancestors all, come to our fire. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And at this point, if you have offerings of your own that you wish to make, please make them. To whoever is good with breaking impasses, we call to you to break one major impasse where many are suffering. I make an offering to Breed to request healing. There are no other offerings to be made. Mighty Kindred, we give to you one last time. We ask that you accept all of our offerings. And Mighty Kindred, we ask you to accept this sacrifice. And now, Mighty Kindred, we ask what blessings do we receive? The shining ones. The shining ones give us hair throw. The dice cup. Games of chance. The ancestors. No, sorry, the land spirits. The land spirits give us Iwas. Oh, sorry, Awas. The horse. Spiritual journeys. The ancestors. The ancestors give us Yera. The rune of harvest and cycles. I'm reading this as we need to look at our spiritual practice. Look at where it has been and put it in a direction that you want it to go. It's because it's talking about your spiritual work, not only currently, but in the past year and in next year, and how it's changed. So I think that's a good omen. I think it's telling us, giving us some really good advice. Do we accept this omen? I accept the omen. I accept the omen. Okay. Mighty Kindred called to you to fill these waters and fill them in each and every one of our homes. Fill them with the omens we have just heard. Fill them with Erthro, the dice cup of chance. Fill them with Awas the horse in spiritual work. Fill them with Yara, the cycles of the year, cycles of the harvest. In my glass and in all of our glasses, behold the waters of life. And now, let us thank all of those who have aided us. So mighty ancestors, be you our family, be you those that inspire us, or friends, or mentors, or be you of this very earth. 
for all that you do for us throughout the days and all you've done for us tonight. Ancestors all, we thank you. Ancestors all. Ancestors all, we thank you. <sighs> to the land spirits, be you our animal kin, be you the plant kin, or be you the unseen kin. For all you do throughout our days, all the enrichment that you give us through our interactions with you daily, and all they have done for us tonight. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits. Land spirits, we thank you. And shining ones, be you unknown to us, be you of this earth, or be you our patrons and matrons. To for all that you do for us throughout the day, all that you have done for us tonight. Shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. We thank you. And gatekeepers all, you have opened the ways, you have watched over us, and you have brought back what we need to hear. For all that you have done for us throughout the right tonight. Gatekeepers, we thank you. Gatekeepers, we thank you. And gatekeepers, we ask that you once more join your magic with mine and in my house and in all of our houses. Let the wells become but water. Let the fires become but flames. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, to the Earth Mother. Without you, we would not be here. So we honor you first, and we thank you last. For all that you do for us throughout our days, all you have done for us throughout this rite. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace. This right has ended.